day, and welcome to another episode of A Week in Bin Long. This will cover turns 16 through 20, and this is utilizing the 1.20 update, which was released just last week. Uh, let's take a look. So we're up in the north right now, and this is the 228th area. This is the 116th Infantry area, but where I am now, this is the Arrow Rifle Platoon of D Company 1st 4th Cavalry. Uh, right now you can see that it's along the border and it has secured the objectives that are against the Cambodian border on the far western side of area Louisiana. Over here we have a LRRP unit that has been helping elements of the 228th C Company. They've been attached to that and they've been just going through and collecting points. Uh, further north, we have completed the fire base at LZ Louisiana 5. I did that quite quickly with a construction platoon and a dozer. A uh, valuable lesson here is that I built a trench on a paddy that has a landing zone and now what happens is that let me turn the labels off the trenches they block the roads which means that normally a tracked vehicle would just use whatever the ambient terrain is to move through unfortunately the ambient terrain is a wet paddy which means that this dozer cannot move uh, into this particular hex and so much for my idea of flying out of the particular area. That means I'll have to take this dozer and drive down this road to this landing zone here. But first I have to make sure that's clear, there's no BC in that particular area, and then take off from there. Not the end of the world, but that could have been quite devastating if there wasn't another landing zone around. Like this will probably take three or four turns to get there, and by that time the Chinooks are done doing what they're doing right now, uh, we'll have to, uh, yeah, th this isn't the end of the world. That, that This is okay. The helicopter, the Chinooks can still land here, pick up these engineers and, and take, the construction engineers, and take them where they need to go. Uh, here we have the elements of B Company, if I recall correctly. Let's just highlight them. Yeah, this is B Company. And let's turn the map labels back on. They're almost secured these last few points, and then after that, they'll be making their way down to Hill 171. 171 is an area where I have spotted a machine gun, a VC machine gun. I don't know what else is there, so I want to make sure I have enough strength in order to take that out. Uh, I sus this platoon here has done what it needs to do, so it's going to be heading back. This still has a handful of turns. So it might not make it in time for the action, but as we see to the east, A Company, which is highlighted here now, you can see, A Company has secured the entire area Alabama operations area, which is perfect. Now they are running their heading back to the airfield and they will be loading up on the choppers. I have split up the choppers, the helicopters, into uh, uh, gunships and transports. I have enough helicopters now to, to transport a full company. Plus I have gun support, etc. So this is a good situation. I'm really pleased with how 228 is doing. They have suffered some casualties though, which is kind of annoying, but there's not much I can do about that. C Company on the other hand, we're, we initially tried to cross at this point. We captured this point here, and then we were going to cross into this particular village hex. But we found a VC firing at us from this location here. So what I'm doing is I'm coming down here. There's a ford here, and there's a ford here. This platoon, let me highlight it, we're going to come across through the woods and up into this position up here to in the rear of this VC held ridge line. These platoons are going to come across and avoid this because this will cause me points. 
go into here and then eventually make their way up. I'll probably send one platoon this way and the other platoon will head north to surround this particular hex in order to assault it and capture it. I'll bring the gunships down and maybe some artillery down to help out. But yeah, so far that's that's going well for this. We're, we're happy campers. Uh, let's go back to the rest of the the mobile unit, the convoy that has been coming up from Anne Locke has finally arrived. It literally arrived this turn, the, the last elements of it. I have not completed the engineering tasks. It, the engineers are still on the road. They are still clearing mines. They still have mines and roadblocks that need to be cleared. It'll probably take the rest of the, the first day for the engineers to do that. But... The bridging engineer, they're, they've done their duty, so they're slowly heading back, and they'll be up at Loch Ninn here in a few turns. There's only, there's not many turns left for uh, that engineer to get up here. Again, I've split up all the helicopter forces, which are the first battalion helicopter, the first helicopter battalion for the first division, and it has been assigned to the uh, third brigade up here, the elements of the third brigade. That means my task force headquarters is up here, my supply units for this battalion is up here, and the heavy weapons is up here. The uh, elements that need to go into the field are this battery, so I need to eventually load up these two things, get them loaded in the helicopters, which I'll be using the Chinooks for now that we have the, the base ready. And that's pretty much it for this particular sector. First 16th, let's head down there. Uh, this is a company, and you can see, oh, I'm also using the new community mod by Umbra, the 3D terrain graphics mod that's available in your 1.20 installation. Um, a company, they're, they've been cleaning up, up on the northern side of this plantation, just outside of uh, Anlock. I'm going to try and avoid hitting more mines. Usually the mines I'm finding are along the roads, so I'm going to be just going to the locations and utilizing, you know, walking through the plantations. It'll take me a little bit longer, but I'm trying to save casualties because, like, this has lost a... That lost half a squad, this has lost a squad, and that has not suffered any casualties yet, But so that's good. We have the task force headquarters for the battalion here. And you can see that the the one sixteenth battalion had had been roadbound is arriving on scene. So we're making really good progress with this. This is a tedious event, though, in the sense that there's a lot of mines and roadblocks on the road that they have to be worried of. Um, it's no big deal in the sense that once I find them, then I can just drive through them. But it's a matter of finding them and dealing with the casualties that have been caused because of it. To try and avoid as many casualties as I can, I have been using uh, usually a light vehicle, empty, like this here. This is just a three-quarter ton light truck. There's nothing came being carried in it, but it will drive down the road and it'll allow me to run into a mine or run into a roadblock because there's no attached engineers to clear the road before we go. And if I was to clear the road slowly and methodically all the way from from down south, I, I would never get this battalion up to here by any means. Uh, further to the south here, we have at the abandoned airfield, we have B Company of the 1st 16th. And my plan is to get these platoons down to this abandoned airfield. You'll see that I have a helicopter here already, a scout helicopter, just ready and waiting for a mission. It's only got six turns left, but... If I can get up in the air, do a flight, do some reconnaissance for a couple turns, and then send it back to the main airfield, then that that has served its purpose. And also allow me to use the gunships that are on station at Anlock to come down here and help out if there's going to be any issues. Uh, anyways, the, the plan is to take a company and dig in around this particular airfield. I won't leave the company here, but I want to take the opportunity to build up some defenses for future operations. Will I be operating from this particular airfield a lot? No, probably not. But it's nice to have a station where 
I can send, you know, the heavy weapons company from 1st 16th, set it up here during the day, and have uh, a couple of supply trucks there, just to have it shorten my flight times. It won't be much, but it still adds up. You know, if they're f if I'm fighting in area Oregon or area Washington, it's nice to have these closer, you know, airfields that I can resupply from. And mind you, I can resupply from any landing zone as long as I have a supply truck there or headquarters. That's my plan for this, and that's why I'm spending some time. Normally, I wouldn't even bother doing this, but I thought, oh, you know what, I'm going to try this time and see what happens when I build this up, uh, just as a temporary base. In the future, I will probably do the same with this particular abandoned airfield, just to have ready-made places to go to when I need them. And further to the south, we have the 3rd Brigade Headquarters. Nothing too important is going on here. All I've been doing is building up the defenses at Lai K. I only have some machine guns and I have some construction platoons and a dozer. You'll see that I have the Chinooks here. They have just landed and they literally just this turn refueled. Next turn I'll load up the Chinooks with the dozers. And I haven't decided where I'm going to put them yet. I will probably send them all the way to Ann Lock. That way I have a team of dozers and construction engineers for both of the battalions. Um, I believe I'll be getting additional dozers and additional construction engineers as the days goes on. But... I don't know for sure. So I have to utilize these. And the reason why I'm using them in pairs is they, they tend to build the IPs faster and they tend to upgrade the IPs to trenches much faster. That's why I'm using them in pairs. So I'm kind of hoping that I can just use them, build the fire bases where they need to go and lift them off, go to the next site where they need to do it, hopefully repeat the process as quickly as possible. Um, in some cases, I'll have to you know, secure the potential firebase with a rifle company and start digging in that way and then just use these to fly in and upgrade the improved position to, to trenches. Uh, little things like that that I'm trying to, to think about and make my life going forward a lot easier. Uh, I believe day two, all the units that are here are going to be moving to either Anlock or on the, I think it's Anlock. We're going to say Anlock. So while I'm not using this base right now, I know I will be using it in the future. So it's important to spend some time to build up the forces that are here. Not the forces, but the protection that is here. Because eventually, I suspect, this will be attacked. So building this up as much as we can will help that process. And you know what? Let's just do a quick overview again. This is 2nd 28th, this is 1st 16th, this is the 3rd Brigade Headquarters. Uh, the Task Force Headquarters for the Brigade, I believe, is heading up here to Loch Ninh, and the Brigade Headquarters will come up to Anlock tomorrow. And then we should be receiving some reinforcement throughout the week. This scenario does get more complex as the days go on. We're only in, on turn 20, so it's literally the first quarter of the day here, or first half of the day. We have secured most of what we need to do, with the exception of area Louisiana. That'll be a little bit more complicated, because we do have VC that we have to take care of up there. Otherwise, there we go. That's the update for a week and been long. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, please ask them down below. I'm always happy to answer. If you like this type of content, Give it a like. It'd be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you want. That'd be even better. Uh, if you don't want to ask the questions below, feel free to go over to the forum. I am doing a turn-by-turn after-action report about what is happening. But if you don't feel like reading that, that's why I'm making this. It's just a, a quick, dirty overview about what's going on with this particular campaign. Thank you so much. Take care. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.